A plea for vaccines at Ontario's food terminal, one of the central hubs for receiving and distributing fresh produce in the province and much of the country. Frontline workers here say despite doing everything right, COVID variants are still spreading rapidly and they should be prioritized for the shot. What we need to do, knowing that this is a frontline facility that provides probably half the produce that's distributed in Ontario, is to get everybody down here vaccinated. Does someone have to die down here before we get a couple thousand vaccines? Working long hours in close quarters to get fresh produce into Ontario's grocery stores. There's no way to do this work from home. And throughout the pandemic, these workers have been on the front lines. Unless you've been in this environment, you really don't know what it's like. It's, it's, it can be a zoo sometimes. It's always very busy. Taking every precaution, they've managed to limit outbreaks and prevent spread until now. Up until these variants, which are obviously far more contagious, that's what I had. Larry Davidson is the owner of North American Produce. In the last month, he and more than 20% of his workforce have been infected with COVID-19. At this point, it's not really relevant how it's being spread. People are wearing their masks, are doing everything they're supposed to, no different than they did for the whole year. It's now a matter of getting people vaccinated. Davidson's worst fear was realized when he brought the virus home to his 10-year-old daughter and his wife, who has multiple sclerosis and ended up hospitalized. I'm heartbroken. I'll never, I mean, I hope my wife recovers. I'll never be able to forgive myself for, 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 this, for what I brought home, never. It, it, it's, it eats at me every minute of every day. As of right now, anyone who cannot work from home is scheduled to receive the shot in mid-May. But many doctors are pushing the Ford government to move that date up as they see more and more essential workers end up in ICUs. That is part of the second phase. And frankly, it is very much dependent on the supply that we receive. As soon as we have sufficient supplies, we're going to make sure if you can't work from home, you have access to a vaccine. It's beyond frustrating. We should be ahead of people who are able to work from home. And if cases were to run rampant, forcing the terminal to shut down. The distribution of produce would be affected significantly in the province. While he's not concerned about that happening yet, it's a very real possibility as cases climb in the province. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.